Welcome back to the Happy Chicken Coop YouTube channel. For today's video, we'll take a look at the life stages of our lovable chickens. What happens after the egg is fertilized? What developmental stages do they go through? We'll answer these questions and more. But before that, please don't forget to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. You can also check out our website at thehappychickencoop.com or subscribe to our email newsletters for daily tips and tricks in raising a backyard flock. A chicken's life cycle can be divided into several stages. The first stage is the egg development and hatching. We won't bore you with the old joke about the chicken and the egg. As far as this video is concerned, the egg comes first. A hen will lay an egg every 25 to 27 hours or so, and this cycle goes on every day. An egg will remain unfertilized unless a rooster fertilizes the hen. A hen can keep the rooster's sperm viable in tiny pouches in her vagina for up to three weeks. Alternatively, if she doesn't like the rooster, she can eject his sperm. A neat little trick, right? But if she likes the rooster, she will continue to lay fertile eggs, gathering them in her nest until she feels she has enough eggs. Now she has become broody. She will sit diligently on those eggs for 21 days. During that time, she will keep them warm, turn them regularly, and expel any eggs that are not progressing. When day 21 arrives, you will be greeted by lots of peeping from under mama's skirt. When chicks initially hatch, they are wet, but they soon dry off and turn into those cute little fuzzballs that we can't resist. A short time before hatching, the chick will absorb all the nutrients from the egg into its body to support itself. The nutrients in the egg's contents will sustain a chick for about 24 to 72 hours. We may not see what's going on inside that egg, but certain milestones are important and interesting to know about. Now we proceed to the second stage of the chicken life cycle as a chick. If their mom is raising them, you need to do very little. She will attend to their needs and care. They will spend the first days of their life under their mama's wings to keep them warm and safe. You can provide your hen with separate quarters from the flock to raise her brood in peace and safety. You will also need to provide starter crumbs for the chicks. Water should not be cold or hot, but at room temperature. Some electrolytes for the first couple of days will ensure the health of the hen and her chicks. On the other hand, if you're incubating, you will need to provide warm food water and safety for the chicks. A special chick starter feed with a high protein content is needed to ensure healthy development. They will also need clean, fresh water. Chicks are messy. You will likely find yourself changing the water several times a day. As the chicks don't have a mama to lead them, you will need to dip their beaks in the water and food dishes to let them know where they are. You can also tap the food bowl with your finger, imitating mama's beak. Warmth is also essential for the chicks to thrive. The first week they're in the brooder, the temperature of your heat lamp should be at 95 degrees Fahrenheit at chick level. The temperature should be reduced by 5 degrees each week until you reach ambient temperature. As your chicks get bigger, they will start to sprout their first real feathers. This usually happens during the second week. Also in the second week, you can add some chick grit to the brooder and perhaps a small perch for them to practice with. I also add a clump of short grass or dandelion weeds with dirt attached to get the benefit of greens and the dirt. Weeks 3 and 4 see them acquiring more feathers and growing rapidly. By week 5, the brooder temperature should match the air temperature at 65 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit. You should be able to turn the lamp off since the chicks will now be fully feathered and able to control their own temperatures. Around this time, you will also see them start to acquire their first adult feathers. Others. You will also see them sorting out their pecking order. If you wish, they can spend some time outside in a suitable pen to protect themselves from predators. By week 8, they should be able to spend more time outside. And you can start to expand their tastes. Mealworms, grains, greens, scrambled eggs, and etc. At this point, they are now technically pullets and cockerels. They have entered the awkward juvenile zone. Congratulations, you are now the parent to a gang of unruly chicken teenagers. Which brings us to the third stage as pullets and cockerels. Adolescent chickens are not the prettiest. They are skinny, all legs, and look somewhat out of proportion compared to their adult chickens. Not to worry, they will soon be sleek and pretty like the adults. But meanwhile, you have to be a referee between the adults and the juveniles. The juveniles can be integrated with the adults when they are roughly two-thirds the size of the adults. The pecking order can be brutal, so keep your eyes open for extreme bullying. Generally, the youngsters learn to get out of the way quickly. And it's actually best to leave them in with the adults, so they only have to endure the pecking order once. 
ideally, the cockerels will be introduced to the flock before they start to grow, especially if you already have a rooster. The boys need to learn their place in the flock. Otherwise, you will have persistent fighting between the old and the new. The cockerels will be practicing their crowing every opportunity they get once they have settled into their place in the hierarchy. Adolescent hens will start to lay eggs around the 18-week mark, but this can vary significantly between different breeds. Once she has laid her first egg, she is an adult. Although some folks call those first eggs pullet eggs because they are so much smaller than hen eggs. The adolescent period of a chicken's life is mainly spent filling out the frame and learning all they need to know from the other adult hens. And finally, the last stage, adult chickens, aka hens and roosters. At this point, there will still be a few minor squabbles here and there, but the new and older hands should settle into a routine. Some of your older hands may even take the role of teaching the newcomers. The boys, on the other hand, can become tiresome once the hormones kick in. They may challenge your head rooster at every opportunity they get. As you know, hands molt every year to replace old, worn-out feathers. The new hands will not molt until the following year, so they should keep laying through the winter for you. The following spring, some of your chicks may become broody mamas themselves and give you another generation of adorable chicks. Most chickens lay well for the first year or two, but they start to slow production around the 72-week mark. Many will still lay eggs for you, but the output will be noticeably less. As chickens age like most creatures, they will start to show signs of old age. They will be less energetic and move more slowly. Their legs and feet become thicker and possibly arthritic. Facial features take on an aged or tired appearance. Egg production may cease altogether, or they may lay the occasional yearly egg. Depending on the breed, chickens can live from 3 to 20 years. Admittedly, the 20-year veterans are few and far between, but they do exist. On average, the usual range is between 5 and 8 years for most hens. Hybrid layers tend to have the shortest span as they are prone to developing reproductive tumors after 2 years. Hens that are well taken care of and kept safe from predation can live much longer than 8 years, assuming they are not culled because they have ceased to lay eggs. And there you have the 4 life stages of our fluffy feathered friends. If you want to read the full article, you can click this link. I hope you find this video helpful. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. To learn more information about chickens and how to raise them in your backyard, you can check out our website at thehappychickencoop.com or subscribe to our daily email newsletters. Thanks for watching!